Hello. In this video, I'm going to introduce the idea of array formulas in Microsoft Excel. What is an array formula? Well, very simply, we can think of it as a special kind of formula which can sometimes do two things at the same time with groups of cells. Have a look at this example. In column A, I have students' target grades, and in column B, I have their final grades. Over here in K2, I want a number which tells me how many students scored at least their target grade. And in K3, I want a number to tell me how many students scored less than their target grade. Now think about how you would normally go about doing this. Normally, what we'd probably do is over here put in a formula which would run along the lines of equals if their final grade is greater than or equal to their target grade, then put a 1 in here, otherwise put a 0 in here. Um, then we would replicate that formula all the way down. I have a list of 100 students here. I'm just going to do the first few. Uh, so we get 1s if they are more than their target grade, zeros if they're less. And then at the bottom of that list, we'd probably have to put a formula in which would run along the idea of equals sum, then we'd select all of those cells, and we'd find out how many students had scored more than. And then we'd need to have another formula to work out um, how many had scored less, so the number of ones or the number of zeros. So that's how you'd normally do it. It would be a combination of two or more different formulas, a lot of replication, an array formula can do this in one formula, in one cell, in one go. So let's have a look at how we would do this with an array formula. So first of all, what I'm going to do is click in K2 and I'm going to start just as I would normally with an equals. Now, what I'm going to do is equals sum. Do you remember earlier on I was showing you how I would add up the number of ones uh, which showed me uh, those students who had scored at least their target grade. So that's kind of what we're doing here in a way. We're adding up the number of ones. So equals sum, open a couple of brackets, and the first thing I'm going to do is select the range of cells which contains their final grade. So that's uh, B2 all the way down to B101. Now, of course, if I know the range, I can type that in manually, which I'll do from now on. So equals sum, then the range of cells which represents their final grade. I want to know whether that is um, greater than or equal to the range of cells which contained their target grade. I'm just going to type this in. So that's obviously A2 to A101. And then we can close those brackets. Now we're going to multiply that by the number of cells in B2 to B101, their final grades, uh, which is greater than zero. Close both brackets. Now this is important because at this point, uh, if I just press enter, I'm not going to get the correct answer. I'm, it's not going to work. To enter an array formula where we're using groups of cells, I have to press a certain key combination. That key combination is control shift enter. So clearly this formula here is unlike the sort of formula we'd use normally. We've got groups of cells, not individual cells. If you think of it as an individual cell, B2 is greater than or equal to A2, multiply that by B2 greater than zero, it kind of makes sense. But with groups of cells, that just wouldn't work. So to put this down as an array formula, we hold down the control button, we keep it held down, hold down shift, and then press enter. Two things happen. First of all, I can see that 76 of my 100 students scored at least their target grade. And we can see up here in the formula bar that the formula we've written has been surrounded by curly brackets. I hope you can see that all right on your screen. 
Um, if you can't, then the formula in the formula bar has the little curly bracket to the left-hand side of the equal and at the very right-hand side. Now, you can't type that in. If you just type that in, then Excel assumes that it's just text and ignores the formula completely. Uh, but those little curly brackets, if you see those in a formula, that tells you straight away that this is an array formula. We can see this formula works in much the same way as any other formula. If I was to change one of these grades, let's say that this student did rather better than that, we can see that this number has immediately updated to show the new number. Let's have a look at how it would work then with the second formula. This is the number of students who scored less than their target. So again, it's an equals and we are adding up the total number of students whose scores match whatever it is we're looking for. Open up a couple of brackets and again, it's the same range. It's B2 to B101. Now this time, of course, what we're looking at is to see whether it is less than not less than or equal to, of course, but just less than the cells in A2 to A101, which was their target score. Uh, don't forget, we need to multiply that by the check to see whether there is, in fact, a number greater than zero in B2. So is uh, B2 to B101 greater than zero? Close both brackets, and again, at this point, we hold down Control, we hold down Shift, we press Enter, and there I have the number 24. Let's just see these two numbers change. I'm going to change this score of 28 again to 50. And when I press enter, what we should see is this number jumped to 77 and this jumped down to 73. There we go. Not 73, sorry, 23, but you knew that. So what this formula here is doing then is both of the first two things uh, we demonstrate at the beginning of the video. So first of all, it is checking to see whether this number in column B is greater than or equal to the number in A. And it's keeping a sort of imaginary record in its head, if you like, um, of whether that number is greater than or equal to this one. And the way that it does it is using zeros and ones. So if that matches, if it is greater than or equal to the first number, then Excel remembers or puts in a little a list or technically into an array the number one. Um, and then it will give zeros for those that don't match. And then what it'll do at the end is it will use the sum function to add up all of those ones that result from this comparison here. So it's adding up all the ones where the ones match. So it's doing the comparison all the way down that list and then it's adding up the results of that. So in one single formula, we're doing 100 comparisons and then the addition of up to 100 numbers in one go and then again we're doing it for this uh, number here so it is a much more efficient way of producing your formula um, it's a much faster way of doing it and it means that you don't have to have all these extra columns with comparisons, if formulas and so forth, which can make it a little bit cluttered. I know you can hide them, but then of course you end up with the letters along the top, uh, not being as you would expect. So it's a little bit messy. This is a tidy, efficient and fast way of doing it. I will cover uh, more examples of array formulas in Microsoft Excel. But if you have any questions at all uh, about this, please do leave them in the comments section below and I will do my best to help answer those. If you found this video uh, useful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do that just before you go. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Hope to see you again in the next video.